who's coaching for their gigs this year, do you think? Hot seat talk here at the end of July. What do you got for me on that front? And, I don't, and you feel free to push back to say McCarthy's not, that Jerry is just a guy um, who's not going to change horses there regardless. What do you got for me? You never know what Jerry's going to do because he completely, totally, and unequivocally supports his coach until the moment he no longer does. <laughs> this year, there's no excuses for McCarthy. He's running the offense, so it had better work. And 12-5 and five is great, but when you, when you make fairly quick exits from the postseason, you haven't been back to the NFC Championship game since 1995, that puts more pressure on everyone. So I think he does need to have at least a playoff year to be safe. If they fail to make the playoffs this year, I think he could be in real trouble. Brandon Staley, the Chargers, has to be at this point with Justin Herbert and the way that they ended the 2022 season with that epic collapse Mm. against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Staley has to be under pressure this year. New offensive coordinator Kellen Moore, fired by the Cowboys, lands with the Chargers, has to get more out of Justin Herbert, one of the great quarterbacks in the NFL. And, you know, I know my buddy Tom Curran was on with you last week talking yeah. about Bill Belichick. I, I think Robert Kraft put everyone on notice, including Bill Belichick, and starting with him, that they need to do something this year or it could be over. When, when, when he was asked at the league meetings in Arizona, and, and I'm paraphrasing here, but the question was along the lines of, does Bill Belichick stay until he passes Don Shula on the all-time wins list, or does he need to get to the playoffs this year? And, and Kraft didn't say, oh, he's here as long as he wants, or, oh, hey, you know, we're, we're, su- we're supporting Belichick no matter what, and he's got six Super Bowl wins, and are you crazy? No, he, he gave an answer that when you look at it, it's like he could be in trouble if they don't turn this thing around. And I think what happened last year with the offense – with Matt Patricia and Joe Judge, that that leaves a mark on Bill Belichick's permanent record, and Robert Kraft is very well aware of it. And I, I think what happens this year, depending upon how bad it gets, and on paper they're the worst team in the division, if they miss the playoffs and they have a, a rough year, there could be a change in New England come 2024. That would be something else. I, 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 still, I still would have to see that to believe it. Again, I, I I totally get the Joe Judge and Patricia thing last year and how it might have cost a year of Mac Jones's development based on um, the viewpoint of of uh, ownership sitting in the suite at the fifty yard line. That 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 I, I can understand that, but man, that is the and I I I know they love Gerard, you know, uh, they Gerard Mayo, but that's a long cliff. <laughs> that next step's a Lulu if you let Belichick go. I mean, I'm well, serious. I, there's some people out there that, that throw out the possibility of the Patriots trying to bring Mike Vrabel home at post Belichick, which would be fascinating mm-hmm. if they would try to make that move. And you know, they wouldn't fire Belichick. It would be oh, yeah. a mutual parting, and everyone is is hand in hand, and all these great. You know, they wouldn't just throw him out the door, and he wouldn't put his resignation on a cocktail napkin. It would be something that looks mutual. But still, if it would happen, you're right. And, and Rich, every owner that's thinking about firing a coach has to ask that question. The easy part is getting rid of the guy I have. The hard part is finding a guy who's as good or better. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.